This tutorial describes the traditional way of handling events such as button clicks inside Android Studio. I've got a fresh Android Studio application and the layout of the screen for my phone is currently completely blank. I'm going to add a button so let's move over to the activity panel and let's find a button widget and drag it onto the screen and I'm going to change the name of this button to be submit submit underscore button and now let's switch uh, to the Java view and here is our on create application which gets run every time a new application starts. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a couple of new methods here. Uh, but first I'm going to create a static button object to point to the button that I just created. So I'm going to say private static button b underscore submit. At, in the layout I called it submit underscore B that's on the screen in the code I'm gonna call it B underscore submit Android's complaining now the studio is complaining that it doesn't know where button is but if you just hold down the alternate key and hit enter you'll see it automatically imports the button class from the Android widget now I need a couple of uh, methods to handle the button so first I'm gonna create a uh, public void button click listener no arguments on that and I'm gonna cast this button that I've created and make it point to the button that I have on my screen so I'm gonna say B underscore submit that's the Java side button and I'm gonna cast that to a button find view by ID and then I'm going to find locate that button on the resource side uh, by clicking on that OK and now I've got my button cast here so that I've got a link between the virtual button on the screen and the button in my code which is on the left and on the next line I'm going to um, set up my action listener And I'm going to use the same object that I'm in to handle the button listener. So I'm basically going to tell uh, the system that the current object is going to be the same object that uh, takes the action when the button is pressed. Now you see right now there's an error here because this, this class is currently not capable of handling button clicks. But I can fix that by clicking on this little light bulb on the left and making the main activity implement this uh, additional class so let's do that and that's going to also create a uh, method that we must write to handle the button click so let's just look at that for a second first you'll see that this has been added here by Android Studio and so now this class is capable of listening to button clicks and acting on them and this is the method that is required when you extend this class and this is the method that's going to actually handle the button so I'm going to put in a toast message in here to react every time the button is clicked. Make text, I'll just use this one. And it's going to be this.get application context. And I'm going to put in here that the button was pressed. That'll, that'll be the message telling us that it's working. And I'm going to put in here toast. I'll just go with the long message. And then here I need a dot show. Oops, dot show like that. Okay. So that should be good enough. Let's come back over here and see. Let's run this and see how well it goes. Okay, so there's my button. And when I click the button, nothing happens. And the reason why is I've made the most common mistake is that I did not call this button click listener method in my on create so it never got initialized so let me go back and fix that uh, 
and now we should be good to go. Re recompile and rerun. Now you see every time I press the button, the little button pressed message shows up. I'll press it again. You see that the button pressed message shows up. So let's review for a second. I first created a button variable and then in my button click listener I cast that button and located the same button from my layout using the resources that's the capital R and then I also told the system that this current object was going to be the one that was going to sit and listen on this button click. I extended this class so that it could listen to a button click and that required me to implement this method which is a required method and this onClick method is the method that executes every time the button gets pressed here. Now what's wrong with this? This is fine. One of the issues that uh, coders don't like about this is that it's not easy looking at this code to be able to tell that this method goes with this button. There's nothing tying it all together. So we're going to look in a later video on a different way of handling these buttons which basically ties all this together nicely. But this is a perfectly acceptable way of handling events inside uh, of Android and Android Studio.